was September of 2017. Uh, we, we were wrapping up a lot of our work in downtown. And uh, I looked and said, you know, we, we need something more downtown. Mark Marvin and his company had been investing in downtown Warren and building there. But he needed one more draw to bring in more traffic. And the Robbins Theater might fit the bill. I made a phone call. I went in and I looked at it. I'm like, wow. And I hadn't been in that theater probably for 47 years, something like that. It's been a long time. And I said, I looked at it. I said, you know what? I think I can do this. Enter his old buddy Ken Hedaris at his side back then and right now. If I buy the theater, will you do the entertainment side? And two seconds later, he said, I'm in. I'm in. So at the end of 2017, they were off and running, redoing a structure that had the basics but needed a lot of work. Now they're starting to see results, a testament to his crew that took the project personally. All the guys are local that we have working for us, but you don't understand it until maybe you start reading some of the press and you start seeing people come by and saying things, uh, the impact and the gravity of what it is to bring back the Robbins Theater, which is pretty important to the community. And we've heard this from all members of the community, uh, how important they think it is to bring this thing back. It's hard to tell from the untrained eye, but Mark says they're about 90% done. They need to finish the electrical and then add a little sparkle. The bling is what really brings this whole thing together. When we start putting the chandelier in, when we start putting uh, all of the sconces and that kind of stuff back into this theater to put the crystal and, and, and the shiny stuff, if you will, that, that people are really going to notice when they come in. Some of the artwork is going to be, I think people, first of all, there's going to be incredible entertainment. But when you walk in there, I think people originally were going to go in just to see the architecture right. and, and the finish work. When I walk in there, I, I mean, I, I'm in awe every time, and I've been walking in there for a couple years. And when people walk in next January for the first time, the impact will not be forgotten on these two guys. I think that it will make people proud to say I am from Warren, Ohio. We have great things going on in the downtown and the city, and uh, I'm glad we stayed. I mean, it's easy to knock things down. But you know, Mark came in, he had the vision, he has the expertise, the financing, and we're gonna save a structure that's gonna be incredible, that is gonna bring opening weekend 5,000 people to downtown Warren. Right. It's a different city from yeah. four years ago. Yeah. It, re it really is, there's yeah. electricity there that was not there. It was not there. It's also gonna be emotional, I think, because uh, it's a day that Warren comes downtown, and I think, as Kenny just said, becomes very proud of itself, and that's important.